So today we're going to talk about a product that's been a long time coming on the market and it brings turbo RPM reading to the consumer. For pro racing, like uh, what we're doing with this time attack car, uh, we've always monitored turbo speed and uh, we've done that for many different reasons, which we'll talk to in a little bit, but it's a critical parameter to keep track of. But in the past, you had to have a standalone like race style ECU with data logging and uh, uh, wire your sensor up. And then, you know, this was beyond what a lot of consumers could do. But I mean, even if you're a casual consumer, it's still important to monitor turbo speed. So that's been changed by Garrett with the introduction of their G-Smart Bluetooth Turbo Speed module. Now this is a uh, really innovative uh, product. What it does is it's uh, actually like a module that collects data from your turbo and the speed sensor and sends the signal via Bluetooth to your cell phone. This is a great thing. It doesn't require complicated wiring. The wiring can literally be done in a few minutes. Uh, you don't have to pass wiring through your firewall. The uh, Bluetooth module takes care of that and you can monitor turbo speed. Now, why is turbo speed important? Uh, well, a lot of the reasons it's important is that there's an RPM limit on turbos, just like your engine. Um, you know, it can vary. It can be over 200,000 RPM with a little turbo, like a, uh, like a small G2025. It could be 80,000 RPM with some of those big dudes. Uh, but there's a design limit to the turbo speed. And what can happen if you exceed the speed is first you can damage the bearing system of the turbo. Then you start developing shaft play and then the, everything starts hitting inside the housings and boom, there goes your turbo. Uh, the worst failure if you really overspeed your turbos, you can have a wheel burst. So you go really fast, overspeed the turbo, and usually it's on your compressor side. The compressor wheel bursts, like it literally blows up from the centrifugal force, and that's the end of your turbo game. Uh, either one of these turbo failures can usually do worse things than just blow up the turbo. They usually can send shavings downstream and through your engine, and that's no good either. So turbo monitoring uh, it can be important, especially when you're first setting your car up and tuning and seeing how much boost you're going to run. Uh, keep track of that turbo speed and uh, make sure you're not exceeding the design speeds that Garrett gives you uh, when you go to their website and look at their compressor maps and the basic specifications. Make sure you're safe. The other thing you can do is when you can monitor turbo speed and you can also monitor uh, absolute boost pressure, uh, the module also does that is you can track where your turbo is on the compressor map. So you can um, you know, use various matching software, um, like Garrett has stuff like that on their website, uh, plot where your engine's uh, uh, curve is on the compressor map, and then with the, um, this module, you can actually track your turbo speed and overlay it, um, you know, you know your, your Manifold absolute pressure from data from the module, you know your speed, so you could plot, plot the uh, points on your map by following the speed lines. Uh, this way you can see if your compressor match is really accurate, uh, make sure you're in the fat part of the efficiency for your turbo. Uh, it's, it's super useful. Um, you know, this is all stuff that you can use when you're setting up the car. You know, that's another good thing about this module. It's designed to be taken in and out of your car really quickly. Um, let's talk about some of the features that uh, make it so. The first thing is Garrett's Bluetooth module. Now this is a uh, sealed module. It's weather resistant. It can be in your engine compartment. That's kind of the beauty of it. Uh, you can just mount it right there. You don't have to run wires through the inside of your car. Um, you know, like we have a double stuck tape to this bracket here. And, um, you know, we have it temporarily in the car because we're only using it to do basic setup to make sure our turbo match is okay and we're not overspeeding it at any particular boost pressure. So your module, you can put it anywhere. There's a lot of flexibility where you could put it. The kit comes with a six foot plug and play harness. 
Now the harness is a pretty high quality part. It comes with uh, moisture protected uh, connectors. The harness has um, wires for the speed sensor and there's also wires that go over to the intake manifold here. There's power and ground. We're taking power straight off the alternator and uh, we just ground it to the engine. And also we wired into the engine's MAP sensor, which is under here. So the MAP sensor is the same pressure sensor that the ECU is reading. Super simple. Uh, literally, it took about 10 minutes to install this thing. And uh, 10 minutes, uh, fired up the cell phone, we're reading turbo RPM. Now the turbo speed sensor that you see here, there's two types. There's the G-series, which is like a, a bolted on flange that just goes straight to the compressor housing. Or there's the GTX st threaded style. And what you do is you screw it in until it touches the compressor fins. Then you back off 1.6 turns and you're ready to go. And start up, the module measures absolute pressure uh, or manifold absolute pressure as a lot of us tuners call it. Uh, absolute pressure is simply the boost pressure added to the ambient pressure. So on earth, that'd be 14.7 PSI. So like, let's say you were running 10 pounds of boost. So that would be 24.7 is the manifold absolute pressure. Pretty simple, right? The module calculates absolute pressure from the moment it's fired up. Because of this, you have to have a constant power supply. Um, this is important because like, let's say you have um, it on a 12 volt source that gets cut when the starter goes, um, the module's gonna calculate uh, the absolute pressure of the engine at idle, which could be a vacuum, which will mess up all your readings. So make sure you tap into the right power that's constant, no matter, no matter what, and even when the engine is cranking. So another reason why you would want to monitor turbo speed is, let's say you live at high altitude, or if you compete like we do at Pikes Peak. So at Pikes Peak, we start at a lower elevation and climb to 14,000 feet. So as the air gets thinner, the turbo has to work harder and spin quicker to maintain the same boost pressure because the air is getting thinner. Because of that, at Pikes Peak, we have big problems with lower speed in the turbos and blowing them up. So, you know, if you do stuff at high altitude, this is a really good accessory to have. So using the app is pretty simple. Uh, the app is easy to configure with preset Garrett part numbers, models, compressor wheel blade counts, and top rated turbo speeds. All this information is available from Garrett and you enter it into the app. It automatically does all the calculations for you. So the app has user set screen recall. You can record up to 120 seconds of data on the app itself. And if you need more than that, there's an analog output on the Bluetooth module that could be connected to uh, any kind of data logger. If you're doing multiple runs like we are on the dyno, uh, you can pause between the runs and get more than one run in the 120 second uh, data logging window of the app. So there you have it. Garrett's brought the ability to monitor turbo speed easily into the hands of just about any user. It's a useful tool and you need to use it too. So if you like this content, please subscribe and follow us. Uh, we, we try to bring you a lot of tech and a good variety of it. Go to MotoIQ.com, read all kinds of articles about all kinds of tech, probably thousands of articles on there. Um, if you want to get a shirt like mine or some other cool shirts, go to our web store and click on merch. There's shirts, hoodies, uh, different designs other than this Moto IQ one. So if you need parts for your car, uh, go to our store and check it out. We have a lot of different parts and all the money we might make helps us fund more and better content. So until next time, we'll talk to you later.